Welcome to Wafers. In this lesson I'm learning to find fractions of lengths, including seeing when a fraction is greater than 1. You can see here I've got four wafers, and what I want to do is share those four wafers between three people. So I'm going to put person 1 there, person 2 there, and person 3 there. Now one way I can do that is by splitting each of these wafers into thirds. So you can see I've split this first wafer into thirds, the second wafer is split into thirds, the third one is split in thirds, and the fourth one is split into thirds. So now I can share these out. So from my first wafer I can give everyone one third. From my second wafer I can give everyone another third. From my third wafer, I'll give everyone another third. And from my fourth wafer, everyone gets one more third. So you can see that everyone has got four thirds, or if I put them a little bit more uh, neatly together, you can see that it's the same as one whole and one third. one whole and one third. And I can record that like this, one whole and one third. Now if I go down a little bit further, you can see I've got the same question below here, but this time we're going to see if we can find a different way to share that out. Just like last time, I'm going to write down my people, first person, second person, and third person but this time I'm going to share them out a little bit differently. I can see I've got three people to share the wafers between, but I can also see up here I have got one hole, two holes, three holes. So I know that I can give everyone one hole, and then I just need to split up this uh, last wafer. So let's start by sharing out the whole wafers. The first person gets one whole wafer, the second person gets one whole wafer, the third person gets one whole wafer, and now we just need to split up this last one. So we can split this last wafer into thirds, and we can give each person one peep. One to person one, two to person two, and one to person three. And you can see we got the same answer, everyone got one whole and one third, which we could say the same, is the same as four thirds. We could also record that as we got one third from that wafer plus one third from the second wafer plus one third from the third wafer plus one third from the fourth wafer, and that's where we got our four thirds or one whole and one third. Let's try another question. Uh, this time I've got four people who want to share two wafers. So we'll write them down here. Person one, uh, person two, person three, and person four. And you can see just by looking at that this time that I don't have enough wafers to give everyone a whole wafer. So one way we could answer this is by splitting these wafers into quarters. That way I can share them between all four people. So if I split this first wafer up, you can see that I've got four even pieces, which we call quarters. And if I do the same to the second one, I've got another four even pieces to share out. So I can give the first person one quarter, the second person a quarter, the third person a quarter, and the fourth person a quarter, and that's shared out one wafer. Now I've got the second wafer to share out. Well, I could give them first person another quarter, second person another quarter, third person another quarter, and the fourth person another quarter. So you can see that we gave each person two quarters. We got that because, first of all, we gave them 
move down a little bit more, we gave them one quarter, then we gave them one more quarter. One quarter plus one quarter equals two quarters. And you might remember that two quarters is the same as one half. And we could check that with a picture. Here is a circle cut into quarters, and if I shade one quarters, two quarters, you can see that it's the same as same as shading half of that circle. Let's just have a look at another quick way that we could have answered this question. So if I go down a little bit, you can see I've got my two wafers here again. And just like before, I'm going to split them between four people. Now the other way that I could have done it is taken this wafer here and shared it between these two people, and taken this wafer here and shared it between these two people. So that means I had to split this wafer in half, and I also have to split this wafer here in half. I'm then going to give half of one to this person. I'm going to give this half to person two, this half to person three, and this half to person four. So you can see I got exactly the same answer as what I did last time. It's just a different way of working out the same question. Well, I hope you found this lesson helpful. For more lessons, check out teachertools.com.